Carlo Ancelotti's Real Madrid team are making a habit of winning games in extra time and causing agony for opposing teams, with their victory over Barcelona in the Supercopa de España being followed up with a Copa del Rey triumph over Elche. Whilst in one sense being able to take these victories after difficult matches is a sign of a team's character, there are equally as many concerns as to why Real Madrid are finding it so hard to kill matches in cup competitions, especially with the return of the Champions League just around the corner. Ancelotti's charges are having to suffer to earn these cup victories, and the win over Alcoyano in the last 32 wasn't even a walk in the park either. Los Blancos went ahead twice against Barcelona in Riyadh, but were pegged back by goals from Luc de Jong and Ansu Fati. Fede Valverde eventually scored the winning goal in extra time, whereas on Thursday against Elche it was Eden Hazard who grabbed the headlines with a winning strike. Real Madrid continue to dream about success on multiple fronts this term, especially with the La Liga Santander title looking like a foregone conclusion in their favor, however they are having to suffer a lot. This builds momentum and resilience in a team, but what must be a concern for Ancelotti is how all this extra football will accumulate over the course of a season. At times when a lot of players have been impacted by COVID-19, with the effects of that virus impacting lungs and breathing, as well as being long-term, it could well be the case that the team runs out of steam before the end of the campaign, and then we will look back at these extra-time victories as more of a negative than we are at the present moment, 